Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to pick up on your computer where you left off on your phone. Now, one of the best things about Android is how well it interacts with other operating systems. You don't need some clunky music player program just to copy files from your phone to your computer. And there are plenty of apps like Push, Bullet, and Join that let you send things between your various devices. That said, a new Exposed module from developer Hamzar Malik actually has the potential to take Android's cross-device compatibility to the next level. Basically, the module works in tandem with a Windows or Mac program that instantly launches whatever it is that you are viewing on your phone. You don't even have to use Android's share menu either. You just click a button on your computer and it takes you to the same site or service you are viewing on your phone. To get this one going, you'll obviously need to be rooted with the Exposed Framework install. Aside from that, you'll need a Mac or Windows computer with Java installed, and that'll need to be connected to the same local network as your Android device. But to get started, just head to the Downloads section in your Exposed Installer app and search Handover, then tap the top result. From here, swipe over to the Versions tab, then hit the Download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come up, so tap Install when you see that. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. So tap this notification, then on the following screen, tick the box next to the newly installed module. From here, you'll have to reboot your phone to finalize everything. So I'll go ahead and take care of that, but in the meantime, let's switch over to the computer to show you that side of setup. Now over here, all you really have to do is install the Handover Companion program. I have this download page linked out in my full tutorial, so head over there to get started. But basically, all you have to do is click the download button at the top of the page, then choose your operating system down here. Then, once the installer file is finished downloading, just go ahead and launch it. For Windows users, all you have to do at this point is just click install. Mac users, on the other hand, will have to drag the handover icon into their applications folder, but that's all there is to it. Once you have the program installed though, you'll see two icons on your desktop, or again, for Mac users, they'll be in your applications folder. The first icon is actually the button you'll be using to launch things that are on your phone, so you'll want to keep that one handy. Personally, I'm going to pin this one to my taskbar for easy access. But then the second icon is the handover settings menu. There's one important bit of information in here, so go ahead and open it. From here, you'll see your computer's local IP address listed right on the main screen, and you'll need to enter that in the Android app, so go ahead and copy that down. At this point, there's just a tiny bit of setup left to do on the Android side of things. So let's head back over there. Back on your Android device, go ahead and open the Handover app. From here, you'll need to type in the IP address that you copied from your computer. So take care of that, then press Save and Reconnect. Once you've done that, you're actually finished with setup, but there are some optional tweaks that you can make while you're in here, if you'd like. Let's say there's an app that doesn't really have a desktop equivalent. If that's the case, Handover won't know what site to launch when you click the button over on your computer while you're viewing this app on Android. So if you'd like to manually associate a website with any of your apps, tap this Set Custom App button, then you'll see a list of all your apps. From here, just select any app, then enter a web address in this pop-up, and from now on, that's the site that'll launch when you click the Handover button on your PC. But with all that taken care of, you're ready to start using Handover. Back on the PC now, anytime you're using your phone to view a website, watch a YouTube video, or just use any app with an associated website, all you have to do is click the handover button to seamlessly switch over to your desktop. When you do that, it'll automatically launch the same website you're viewing on your phone. And this works with Chrome, YouTube, or any Android app that uses WebView. On top of that, if you have text queued up in your clipboard, it'll open a TXT file with your clipboard contents from Android. So it's definitely the easiest way to switch back and forth between devices. And the best part is, this is completely free. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.